Preps and welcome back to Maths in Remote Learning. Today we're going to be continuing learning about our doubles which we learned about yesterday. So yesterday you had a go at rolling your dice and building your doubles facts. Maybe you found five, maybe you found six, maybe you found all ten of your doubles facts. Today we're going to do a little bit of a recap and then have a go at practicing those doubles facts. So yesterday you would have rolled your dice, here's my dice, and six. Now double means two again. So let's build, I had one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to build another group of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I need to write my equation. Six plus six equals, hmm, I don't know that one yet off the top of my head, so I'm going to count it. Six I know that's the biggest number because they're the same number. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. So six plus six equals twelve. Mrs. Um, Mac, did you see something that I did that was a bit fancy when, when I was counting? Well, I just really love that you counted on, but you moved the counters. I did because yeah. let's just see what happens if I don't move the counters. What could happen? Ooh. Ready? Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, <gasps> 13, 14. <gasps> Miss Hempel! But I had 12! Oh dear. I think you weren't being a careful oh, counter. I wasn't being a careful counter and I missed a couple and I went over them more than once. So that's why we move our counters or we move whatever we're counting so that it shows careful counting and we don't make a mistake. So I now know that 6 plus 6 equals 12. Let's have a look at our ladybugs and they're going to show us what our double facts up to 20 are. So come in nice and close so you can see my pet ladybugs. All right. We've got one and one. So one plus one equals two. Did you say that? Oh, well done. Let's have a look. There is one, two on this ladybug on each side. So I've got two plus two equals... Oh, we could supertize that. We could supertize that. I, that looks like, oh, here's my dice. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. Let's have a look. Oh, one, two, three. Three plus three. Can you do that really quickly? Six. Well done. Now it's getting a little bit trickier. I've got four plus four equals eight. And I could count that by going four five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is tricky. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five plus five equals, oh, and I know if I go five plus five equals 10 because I have 10 fingers. What a tricky one that is. It, it looks so different to a five on a dice. It does. Here is my five on a dice. So they look very different, but I can count them to check and make sure, or you might be able to just look at it and supertize to know how many there are. I've got, oh, this one looks a little bit like this one. That's a six. So six plus six equals 12. Ooh, we did that, let's have a look. We did do yeah. that one, we yep. were right. Now it's really important to make sure that your plus and your equals are in your equation. Oh, this is hard, I don't know this one, just looking at it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Seven, I could also look that that is six, and one more is seven. So I've got Ooh. seven plus seven equals, hmm, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, we are right. Well done. This looks tricky. Oh, not so tricky that I can't work it out. If this is six, then that's seven, eight. There is eight on each side. Eight plus eight equals 16. You might have found that one yesterday as a bit of a tricky one. We knew that this was 8, so that must be 9. 9 plus 9 equals 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That is a big number. Whoa. Now, if the last one was 9, this must be 10. That's right. I've got 10. Plus 10 equals, I reckon you'll all get this one, 10 plus 10 equals 
20. Ooh. Well done. Did you get that one? You could count oh. all your fingers you and toes could. and work that out. Oh, we could. I didn't even think of that. I had 10 toes. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perhaps you're now going to have a go at doing your own ladybirds. And we're going to count how many dots are in each wing. So I've got six, and I know that because I'm super tizing. Six plus six equals, I can count the dots. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so I'm going to write twelve because six plus six equals twelve. And I know the number twelve is a one, then a two because it's in my team number. This is, I've got two. Plus two equals, oh, I can look at that one and know that is four because that looks just like my dice. Oh, this is tricky. It tells us I've got 10 plus 10 equals, oh, we just saw that. It is 20, but I can check to find out 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, we are right. You're going to have a go at doing this side first and then for a challenge, you're going to oh, <laughs> not do the other side. There's nothing on the other side. You're going to have a look at doing the number two page with your ladybugs. And down here, Ooh. I need to write my own equations. Remember, equation has the plus and an equals. So this one, we need to count how many is on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is six plus six equals, let's have a look, six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go do, let's do this one. One, that's a nice easy one for you all. One plus one equals, oh, one, two. What about this one? Ooh. I've got, this one doesn't look like anything I've seen, but I can see it's one, two, three, four, five plus five equals, <gasps> Show me hands. Ten. Whoa. Five and five equals ten. I have ten fingers, so I'm going to write my answer. So first, you're going to have a go at solving these equations, and then you're going to write your own. If you would like to play a game at the end with a grown-up, or just later in the day, you can have a look at getting a, some playing cards, and you might like to flash a card really quickly, and then you can yell out which is the doubles fact. All right, perhaps have a lovely day of learning. And we will see you tomorrow.